Nathan Sinkala's spiritual successor and perceived future star of the ball winning midfield genre. Our feature star today is none other than Imano Justin Rabi Banda. Welcome back to Africa Football, and this is our fifth video in the African Rising Stars series. We have already covered parts on Dhaka, Enoch Mwepo, and Fashion Sakala. Do check out these videos and others. We drop such videos every week, either on a Monday or a Friday. So remember to like and comment who we should feature next, and subscribe for more videos celebrating our African stars. Emmanuel Banda started his career with Zambian Super League side Mchanga Rangers FC. And due to his impressive midfielding talent, Banda moved to Portuguese club SCS Morris in 2016. Banda represented the Zambia under 20 side early 2017, and in June of that very year, he moved to Belgian first division club KV Ostende on a three year contract, which was off the bat of his magnificent performance for the under 20 team at the AFCON and the World Cup alike. And after spending two years at the Belgian club, he was loaned out to Bezas in 2019. And after that brief stint with the club, he secured a three-year contract with reigning Swedish champion Jürgen IF, a club for which he still plays for up to now. At this point in his career, Banda has 62 documented club games with six goals and one assist. For his nation, Banda has featured for the under-20, under-23 and the senior national team. His ball-winning ability was realized in the Bola squad of 2017, which he appeared 10 times and had three goals, while for the senior national team, he has featured only four times. As we said in an earlier video, the measure of a midfielder is scaled up upon the impact his role has on the team. And we covered this topic in the tactical analysis of Inok Mwepo, which is a video we recommend you check out as we appreciate midfielders. But to understand Banda, you have to understand the concept of a ball winning midfielder. So what is a ball winning midfielder? This is a central midfielder whose main function is to close down opponents and win the ball. This midfielder looks to win the ball in the midfield and lay it off to the creative player who in our national team sense is the creative register or the trocatista. Further, he's a player that has the technical skills which helps the team keep possession, while fashioning out chances for other players with attacking roles. In a ball winning midfielder's arsenal, is the ability to close down opponents with the aim of winning the ball as soon as possible. And in real life, this just means he's a good tackler. But the disadvantage of a ball winning midfielder is that their positioning is lackluster because they have to commit to the role and hunting down the ball throughout the whole pitch. With this in mind, we have to understand that the statistical number of goals to assist ratio is not what a midfielder should be judged upon, but he should be judged based on the role he takes up in the team. And for Emmanuel Banda, this is a ball winning midfielder role. He's a unique ball winning midfielder because he's a left footed player and this in turn allows him to win the ball from other midfielders because they never anticipate his movements. And to see the effectiveness of Banda, one has to look at the Chipolovolo squad where he plays as a budding midfielder for Inok Mwepo. And he does so by winning the ball and passing it to Inok Mwepo who plays as a Tokwatista, hence completing the anchor pivot role for the national team. And Imano Banda is too young and has a great future ahead of him. So we tip him to get a move to the English Premier League or the French League where his physique and abilities will be more appreciated. Is Imano Banda the best ball winning midfielder Zambia has? Please comment below. And this has been Africa Football. Remember to like and subscribe and see you in the next one.